Hi everyone, this is Connie from Connie's Creative Creations. Today I am hosting this challenge called Blame It on the Gnome. My co-host is Robin from Robin's Buys and DIYs. So we're going to be making gnomes. So let's get right into this. Let's see what I came up with. Project number one. Okay. I've got these three Starbucks bottles that was given to me, and I'm just going to take the labels off. They peel off pretty easily. They leave a sticky residue, but it doesn't matter because I'm just going to cover it anyway. So I just left it uh, sticky. Okay, after I get these all three done, then I'm going to grab these three different uh, swatches of uh, material kind of Christmassy, red and white checked, a red with little um, holly berries and leaves, and then just a green, a green and off-white check. So I'm going to um, just figure out where I can cut this for the best size of the hat, and I just draw a pattern, and then I cut it. Then I go ahead and I cut um all three of them the same, fairly the, close to the same size. So as you can see, I'm just going to fold this um, so that I can use uh, the back side. And I'm just kind of checking to see where it will land, where it will go around. And so I am fold it this way and then I flip it because I'm just going to use a Sharpie and make the pattern. And... Um, I just went ahead and I'm trying to figure this out. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. And then I'm like, okay, I want to use a Sharpie. So I go ahead and grab that Sharpie. Now I've got it folded the wrong way. And then mm -hmm. I'll grab mm -hmm. my Sharpie and I will get it drawn on there and then cut these little hats out. And I'm using a ruler so that I can get it straight so that um, it at least has more of a straighter cut than, um, uh, you know, an uneven or whatever. So I'm just cutting these out, and then I will trace these on the other two pieces of fabric. Now that I have all of these all cut out, then I am grabbing some red and green felt. And I'm going to cut strips and glue them on the jar. And as soon as I get that cut, then I'm just going to use some hot glue. And like I said, I only have to do it at the beginning and the end because of the jar is sticky. So it's holding on to the felt and I'm just going to trim that edge glue that down and then um, I'm trimming off some off of the top it was a little too tall and so I'm going ahead and gluing that and then I glue that edge like I just kind of scrunch it in so that it fits around the neck of the bottle so it's not sticking out and here I've done two red one green and then we are going to start working on these beards, or at least this beard. Now this is some faux fur I've had for a few years. I made some uh, Halloween costumes and I needed fur for the, um, the costumes. This is just kind of left over. So I'm just cutting the, um, the beard. And now each one, this is a tan, like a brown tan. And then... Um, I'm using a long hair white and short hair white, and they're all faux fur. So I'm just gonna glue this edge 
and then I am going to put this together. I think I probably made the hat a little too skinny so I was struggling a little bit with um, getting it around there but I just pulled tight and I just got it all done and I'm putting this little pom-pom on the end and I used uh, those pearls that is from the Dollar Tree and um, that is I used for the um, nose and then this little faux Santa hat fur, whatever you want to call it. I got that off of some bells a few weeks ago that I um, changed. They were around the brim of the, the um, bells, so I just used those. And here you can see I finished the green one and the red one, and now I'm cutting the long hair um, white one for this one. And I just do the same process, the same uh pearl bead for the nose, the, um, the red and white checked hat, you know, the material for the hat, this long beard. Now this one I made him look like he had hair, uh, kind of long hair all the way around the back. And I wish I had done that on the others, and I could probably go back and do that, but, um, because I really like the way it ended up looking. So I hope you guys really like these. And I love them, so I hope you do too. So, these are turned out really cute. I'm not a huge gnome person. I haven't made very many of them, but I really like these. And I like the other ones too, so I hope you like these little guys. I think they're just cute. All right, let's get to project number two. Now, this one is a canvas that I put uh, Waverly's uh, chalk paint in plaster over the whole thing and then I drew um, I just freehanded um, a gnome by looking at a picture and now I am painting the um, his body in gray and I'm just gonna let you guys watch this process so I'm not just talking 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 because I'm literally going to paint this now I have sped it up quite a bit so that um, you're not sitting here, oh, okay, how long is this going to take?
Okay, with the body I did, uh, it's, it was cream coat, dolphin gray, and then the beard is um, folk arts white, and then this is um, apple barrel bright red, and then I'm going to be using the white again, and then I'm going to be using um, bright green from Apple Barrel as well. And I'm also going to be using from Apple Barrel a uh, peach color. I can't remember what the exact name of it was. But here I am. I'm just doing the, um, the hat. And um, I have to do the one coat and then I go over any part that didn't quite get it. I'm not using my, um, oh, what's that stuff called? Flow medium, which helps the, um, paint glide better on the, um, the surface. And I did that. I didn't even think about grabbing it. So as you can see, I am just, uh, painting him, his hat all red. Okay, here I am finishing up the last little bit of the red, and then I'm going to do the green feet. Nope, change that, go back. I'm going to be using the pink or the peachy color for the nose. So I'm just going to be painting that in, and it pretty much just takes one coat, and that's all it needs. Mm -hmm. so Here I am finishing up the uh, feet and then I am going to go ahead and grab white and put white polka dot. Actually, I'm doing the gray a little bit. I mixed, I took the same gray and added a little bit of white and I'm just putting it on the beard so it has dimension. So it actually looks like a beard. Now, there's two ways of doing that. You can do the gray first and then they'll put the white over it. Um, but sometimes you have a harder time covering it. So I just did the uh, 
the white and then the gray and now I'm just using the folk art white chalk paint and putting the dots on the um, hat and then I call this done now when I'm done with the painting I always sign actually right there I'm putting a, a little ball on the end and um, I'm gonna use a little bit of that gray on it just so that it gives it a little bit of dimension so that you can see that it's just it's not just flat it's an actual uh, a tassel or ball or whatever on the end of it and so like I said I take the red I have already on my palette add a little bit of water to it and I take a little fine brush and I write my name and I sign it and then this little elf is finished I hope you guys like him didn't he just turn out adorable? All right, let's get to project number three. Now, this one is going to be a little bit different than the others. Of course, they're all different. I'm taking the large or large popsicle stick from uh, Walmart. Not the great big uh, jumbo ones, just kind of large. And I laid out a whole bunch and then I'm using other ones and I'm using wood glue and hot glue. Wood glue is for the long term hot glues for the short term and I'm just hooking these all over the back of them once I get these all hooked together then I'm going to grab um, my An Waverly Antique Wax as you can see I'm just putting it on there and I'm wiping it all off and that pretty much gives me a, a blank yeah a blank <laughs> palette I'm sorry Okay, and I've got this blue and white ticking material, and I'm just going to uh, draw the hat. I'm figuring out the size, and I'm just drawing the um, hat for this uh, gnome, and um, I'm just more or less just doing that. I'm going to cut it, and the material's folded, and so um, once I get that done, then I can just glue this with hot glue right onto the piece of um, uh, or the on the palette or not the palette the uh, popsicle sticks or the craft sticks and I'm just making sure this is completely all the way um, glued down so it's not going to lift and then I'm grabbing this uh, blue it's like felt material and I'm going to make um, a border for the bottom of the hat but I'm not going to do that yet I cut it out and then I decided let's do the um, the beard and I used the um, the no the shorter white and I'm just cutting it and I'm going to make it into the shape that I want it to be so that it looks right and um, I'm just I've got it turned wrong side to it so that I could cut the shape with the marker or draw it with a marker cut it with scissors and then I give this a little bit of a, a trim on the bottom when I'm done because there's one section that's not as long and I didn't want it to look weird so I went ahead and trimmed off some of that fur so that it looked right so I'm going to go ahead and glue that on there. Now, the um, what I'm putting on for the nose is um, a bead. I think I used a bead. I can't remember. We'll all figure that out together. But I do think it's a bead. Actually, it is. It's a blue bead. I can see it, see it sitting there by my uh, glasses. And it's just a, a blue bead from a package from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just now making the trim, folded it one side in and then the other side so that it's nice and glued together. And that way I can put it right on the brim of uh, the hat. And um, once it, I went ahead and I put it, decided I was going to put the nose first, which is a good idea. So I went ahead and glued the nose on and then um, I glued the little trim on and I made sure 
it was going to fit over that little uh, nose sticking out. And then when I'm done with this, I'm trimming the edges because the rim was a little long. I did that on purpose so it would fit right. Then what I ended up doing is I took some more of this, uh, it wasn't felt, it's, I can't even remember what kind of material it is. It's really soft, but I'm cutting little pieces of, of fabric of the um, blue, this red and white check. And then um, I do one other one. I can't even remember which one it was. And I do four little pieces each. And uh, then I, oh, it's black and white. I use, I grab my black and white buffalo check and I'm just doing uh, the four. I'm cutting each one. Then I'm going to lay some baker's twine down, kind of crisscross it back and forth and make a little messy bowl. Okay, once that messy bow's done, I'm just going to glue it right to the uh, the brim. And then I've got these little uh, wood cut out snowflakes. And I'm going to um, glue that right in the center of that bow. And then I've got this other white snowflake from the Dollar Tree. Um, it's the last, pack, last of the package. So I went ahead and put it there. And then I thought, well... This looks a little boring, so I first I grabbed a white pom-pom, and I glued it right onto the top, and then I grabbed those little wooden uh, die-cut uh, snowflakes, and I just put some more on there later, but right now I'm making a little um, bead garland, and I'm using uh, those uh, blue square beads from the Dollar Tree and um, bare little beads from BB Craft. I'm a BB Craft ambassador. I'm also a plaid ambassador. So I use a lot of their products. And I'm just, I used a darning needle and baker's twine. And I'm just putting um, back and forth blue, natural, blue, natural, until I make this little garland. I don't even know if you'd call it a garland or a whatever. It's just, it's going to be the holder for this little plaque to hang up. So I'm just trying to get this all, you know, big enough. And then I go ahead and tie it off and then I glue it onto the back. Um, and that's, I think, I'm not sure if I put the other snowflakes on before or after. Nope, I'm going to put this on and I'm just tying it and I'm using hot glue and then I'm using a little piece of that blue material to put over it to keep it from uh, falling off. This is when I look at it and say, oh, this needs something else. So I went ahead and grabbed more of those snowflakes. And this is when I decided it needed some more. So I just put some more little snowflakes on. I was going to paint them white, but I decided not to. So I hope you enjoy this video. And don't forget to go down to the description box. And there will be the playlist link as well as Robin's uh, channel. And don't forget to give me a big old thumbs up. Subscribe if you would like to see more of my content. If you push that all, you can hit the notification bell. Push the all, and then you'll get notified every single time I upload a video. As well as if you leave me a comment. I love reading them and commenting on them. So I really hope you guys enjoy all my gnomes as well as everybody else's. And you guys all have a Merry Christmas. Call somebody, you tell them you love them. 
and be the Bible that somebody reads today. Bye.